ATS 2016 is really the launch pad of an exciting new phase for ATSC 3.0 next generation broadcasting. So broadcasters will be able to compete with other delivery formats like cable and satellite and internet streaming to offer the highest quality content. Beyond high quality video, ATSC 3.0 will enable some new interactive experiences. It could be things like uh, customized, personalized advertising, additional content that's complementary to the main broadcast show. So Pearl TV represents nine of the largest broadcast station groups in the United States. And we're working on the ATSC standard to bring the requirements we would like to see and be able to offer the consumer. So when you see these pictures, they're, they're beautiful, they're outstanding. That's coming off of a broadcast TV tower. What you can't see standing here in the booth is the way the picture got to this TV set. It's coming over the air from a six megahertz channel, a normal TV broadcast channel. What blows people away who are in the industry is they realize that U.S. broadcasting is now ready to deliver this kind of top-end premium content to consumers in their home. So this is a 100% all IP-based platform, so it's compatible with the protocols of the internet. So that means that it's compatible with devices out there. So from a consumer's perspective, they're going to continue to receive their current service over the air. They're going to start to see this new service coming out in television sets. Well, demonstrations are key to really explaining to the industry what we can do with the technology. You can read about it, you can tell people about it in speeches, but really seeing and touching and interacting with the services is the way people really get to understand it. We're really going very quickly moving forward with ATSC 3.0 on the standardization front. Candidate standard stage is actually where we, we publicly uh, post it and we encourage companies to start implementing it. CS is sort of a preview of what broadcasters are going to see at the NAB show in April where one can expect to see the candidate standard demonstrated in many ways all of the benefits of the candidate standard, not just over the air delivery of 4K, but interactive capabilities, immersive audio, mobile, all of the things that come together to make the next generation standard really special.